Well, the Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. And we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. It's Christmas Eve, and if you're excited to be in God's house at least one more time, won't you celebrate the Lord with me on today? Uh, we praise God for each of you. It's static, to say the least, to have you here celebrating with us during this holiday season. To those who are joining us online, especially for the very first time, welcome to worship at the loop. Do us a big favor. We got a customer here. We'd like for you to drop something in the chat. That just helps us to know who's with us in worship, and we help to create community. Thank you to all of our first-time friends. Our only hope is that this ain't your last time joining us. And now we are family. So when y'all see us in the grocery store, don't act like you don't know us. We fam. Amen. Listen, I'm excited to welcome to the stage this morning our pastor of student services, Pastor Brandon Williams. And Miss Ryan Wilcox Owen. <laughs> We're so excited uh, to have you today. Um, but you're here for a special reason to talk about a brand new program we got going on. And uh, they may have seen it and heard a little bit about it in the announcements. But tell us about Kids Across America. Yeah, Kids Across America. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Kids Across America uh, was really rooted in the voice of our young people, right? Um, we've had a few that have gone um, and came back with the message that as we grow Fusion Youth Ministries, that we've got to go, right? And so it is a six-day long camp experience uh, where your young person will travel, will charter from the campus all the way up to um, right outside of Branson, Missouri, uh, in a place called Golden. We'll stay for six days. Um, and it is a camp experience where our young people will get a chance to be able to closer their relationship with God, with one another, and I think this is the most important part, they're going to have an immense amount of fun while they're doing it. Yes. Yeah, well, that's the part where a lot of them want to really dive in right, right there because right, right. uh, we love the Jesus thing. That's wonderful. But <laughs> kids want to know. So tell me now, why should I really go? Yeah, yeah. So, so I think uh, what we uniquely, I think, as parents, when we think about from our perspective, why should our young people go? I think it is important to realize our young people sit in a specific place within history coming off of the pandemic where they are needing the push to become more intimate with Christ on their own. Amen? Amen. And so this really becomes the heart of really wanting to increase and being intentional with infusing passes, um, uh, his vision over the next year into breakthrough of being more intentional for our young people in their relationship and intentionality with Christ. But also it's uh, the experience of a lifetime to be able to go out um, and have a camping experience, get away from parents for six days, right? Um, and there you go. Um, and there's also, I didn't mention this at the 8 o'clock, there's also room for parents to join us as well, right? And so there's a Kaleo experience where while you will not be camping with your young person, you may want to get a break, um, and we can also use the chaperone ship, um, but your ability to be able to get closer with Christ as well. So there's a plethora of reasons for us to be able to grow in intentionality in our relationship and fun on all ends. Well, that's important. We want to have fun yes. uh, while we're learning about Christ. Absolutely. And uh, no better person to ask than Ryan, because yours ain't just theoretical, it's experiential. Mm -hmm. You you got a firsthand experience with Kids Across America. So, so tell us, how did it impact you? Um, well, initially I went because my dad went when I was, oh, sorry. My dad went when he was younger. So it was kind of cool to go and be like, oh, my dad went here, but when you go, it's really like you get to learn about God on your own. Your parents aren't influencing you or not God. You're there by yourself, and you get to experience it firsthand, not with your parents. Because some of us come to church because our parents make us go. But, I mean, when you're going to camp, I mean, you're waking up every morning and going to Crunk Castle or doing church with them. It's like, it's basically, it's like learning about God, but it's like they're hiding it from you because ha we're having fun. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful way to share that. Yeah, and I know, I know, don't nobody make you come to church. You want to come to church. You wake up shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
<laughs> Amen. Get the camera off of her, please. <laughs> no, listen, I, I am so grateful uh, for, for this and for you bringing it to us and, and Brian's experience with us. But so now parents want to really get involved. They want to they wanna send their kids so they can have that experience, that testimony. What do they need to do? What do you need from parents? Yeah, um, so there is a $410 registration fee, okay? Um, and that includes us being able to transport. We will take a charter all the way up to uh, Golden, Missouri, and all the way back we will eat. There'll be shirts. There'll be the things, right? And so um, uh, being able to register by December 31st, um, there is a $25 registration deposit that is due. Um, and then after that, we can make installments or however uh, parents need uh, to do that for their young people. Um, in addition to sponsorship. And so if there's anyone uh, here that would love to sponsor a young person, uh, we have 50 spots that are available. And so once those 50 spots go, we may have young people and or families that have multiple young people, uh, sometimes that registration cost can be a lot. And so if there are any families that want to sponsor a young person, we are also asking for that as well. So that was a big piece where you said that $25. That's all it takes to get started. That's so, all it takes. Yeah, because somebody's saying, I'm low right there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Not but all you right got to do is just to hold that spot because you've already given up 20, right? Yes, yeah. We're already at 20. And after the 8 o'clock, we, oh. we, we inched a little bit closer to Wow, 50. okay. All <laughs> right. So, so we got some spots here. So some people may not have uh, children who are qualified that age, but they want a sponsor. Would love to have your sponsorship. We want to make it possible so that no young person who wants wants to go has to deal with a situation where they cannot go. Absolutely. We want to make it Absolutely. possible for them to attend. Amen? Amen. So now listen, if we want more information, where can we go to find it on Kids Across America? So today, uh, you can go a few different places. You can always visit their website. However, we want to house all of our young people that are registering through the Luke here at the Luke, all right? So you don't have to go multiple places. So out in the foyer, we are having an informational booth that'll give you a QR code to be able to take you to um, our registration that is on a job platform, but we also have representatives um, that have been essential with equipping us with all of the information we need about kids across America that are at the booth out front. Uh, so you can always reach out via email today. Maybe you're visiting or uh, worshiping with us online. So you can always reach, up, reach out via email at bwilliams at the Luke. I'd love to respond and answer any questions. But today out in the foyer, we're there for any questions as well. Man, if I wasn't over 25 already, I'd go with you. Oh. Uh, but since I just turned 26, I can't go. Amen. Listen, would y'all give it up for Pastor Brandon Williams and Ryan Wilcott-O. Thank y'all. Come on, let's thank God for